On this episode of South Hall Computing, we're going to do a product review. Carve DVRs. Are they still super expensive or is there a cheaper alternative? Dan from South Hall Computing back again, and this time we have a product review of one of those things that um, it's almost a little taboo, but if you like eBay as much as I do, you could get those really nice deals and buy nice uh, direct from China on certain electronics. Now, granted, there are certain things I wouldn't even dare uh, trying to purchase from there, but one of them kind of piqued my curiosity, and a friend of mine actually bought one too, uh, card DVRs. Uh, if you're, uh, you know, one of those people who love to see those accident videos that typically come from uh, <laughs> Russia, and uh, they all seem to have uh, DVRs in their cars. And uh, basically, I wanted to check out one of these guys and see what kind of features we could get out of this and uh, what kind of price point we could get from uh, direct from China. Uh, not slamming any of the legit ones out there, but, um, you know, it's one of those things that I wanted to give it a shot and see if it's actually... Uh, a decent quality build. So uh, let's uh, unbox this product. Okay, we have everything unboxed and inside here we have a USB cord that uh, you use uh, basically to hook up to your machine, computer or laptop, whatever. Uh, the nice cigarette light adapter to keep this guy going. Um, it does have an internal battery but it doesn't last the longest as they stay on their eBay page there. And a suction cup for the window. Uh, this device is about three inches wide and two inches high, and it's actually pretty tiny. And um, it's supported uh, capturing resolutions are 1080p, 720p, as well as a couple of lower resolutions. Um, but uh, yeah, what we're going to do is uh, take it out in the field and um, see what it could do. Um, the thing to note is it does not come with any sort uh, sort of storage, that is. Um, and it will take micro SD and then this one here we're going to use um, for this experiment here a 32 gig from team uh, I've used them before they're pretty solid so um, yeah we're going to do a 1080p capture we're going to do a, a 720 during the daytime uh, right now and um, we'll be back all right what we got here is uh, me just driving around town um, testing out the camera on its uh, 720p setting um, prior to this, I was playing around with higher resolutions, didn't seem to uh, work too well. Um, my guess is the camera itself is not an actual, um, the sensors are not actually able to do 1080p, so what it does, it just stretches it all out, and uh, you get a lot of pixelation, well, not too much pixelation, but you notice it. It doesn't look right, it's not as clear as the 720 uh, resolutions. The lower ones obviously work no problem, and um, yeah, it uh, as you can see during daytime, it is very good. You can see everything. Um, if you needed to in a pinch, um, if you get close enough, you can see the person's uh, license plate of the driver in front of you. So yeah, uh, daytime, I def definitely give it a thumbs up, and um, let's uh, see what it does at nighttime. Okay, so with the night vision, as you can see, I'm turning the LEDs for the night vision on and off here, and they're not doing anything to enhance the image during the, the nighttime shot here. The only thing that it's doing is uh, lighting up my dashboard um, as well as reflecting uh, on the backside of the windshield. So that particular feature doesn't do anything for this camera. Um, also, as you can see, uh, darker colors uh, during, or the the portions that are extremely dark in this camera here have a bluish slash purplish um, speckled uh, color mixed in with them. You're not getting true black color tones here on the darker uh, image uh, parts of the image that is. But with that being said, where the actual headlights are pointing, you can see everything fine. Um, you know, it's basically what you want this to do. If you're at a light and you had the right of way and you got into a car accident, you could definitely, um, you know, use the footage without any issue. Okay, so some file characteristics on what this uh, camera actually records in. It does it in a motion JPEG video, AVI. Uh, you have the option of taking a one minute, two minute, three minute clip 
or it could just keep on recording if you'd like. It has an easy access uh, emergency button if you get into an accident, that orange button, so it won't delete the file. Um, it, when it's recording, what it's doing is it's uh, once the memory card gets filled up, it'll actually replace the older file, so it's constantly cycling through um, deleting the oldest uh, recordings uh, first there. Uh, the battery in my testing I found lasts about 20 minutes. Not too bad for such a small device, but again, it's not recommended to actually run on the battery itself, so we'll leave it at that. Alright, so the good. Um, the audio is actually pretty good with a decently quiet interior cabin and uh, reasonably loud voices. You could pretty much hear everything over there. Um, it's got decent 720p quality, um, not the best, but it's, it's, it's up there. Um, HDMI, which is nice, it's the micro HDMI uh, connector here, so you could actually plug it into your television. Um, you could actually do playback on the actual device in the time of, uh, of an emergency there. And the, um, like I said before, the price, I snagged this little guy for about uh, $25 after it's said and done. Uh, the bad, um, 1080p, it's, it's just not 1080p. It's basically stretching the 720p to match the 1080p dimensions in the AVI file. Um, the uh, megapixels on the camera, it's just not a 1080p sensor, period. Uh, the automatic crash detector, um, it's got a G-Force sensor in there. It was a little sensitive. Um, it was tripping off the silliest thing, so... Not the best thing to have running all the time because uh, if it gets flagged as an accident, that file doesn't get deleted unless you actually delete the file. Uh, again, the LEDs that are supposed to help you with the night mode uh, just don't work. They're just, I mean, I'm sure they'll work in very close proximity, but as far as driving is concerned, it's not going to do anything for your image. Um, easy to break. Uh, a friend of mine who actually bought one of these, he dropped it from his table and he definitely broke it. There's basically no strength to these. They're cheap plastic. Um, oh God, I don't even want to do that uh, and break mine, but yeah, they're cheap. $25, you can't expect this thing to survive a, a moderate crash. Um, and uh, what else did I have? Oh, and average uh, night shots. So, um, like I was saying in that example there, that basically with the headlights, the you, you know, and uh, very dark uh, scenery there at nighttime. You, you're you not going to get anything spectacular, and you're getting uh, bluish and purplish uh, speckles mixed into the darker uh, color tones. So, um, but, you know, if I had to do a buy it or toss it, I would say absolutely buy one of these off of eBay. I mean, for the price, you cannot go wrong. And, uh, you know, it's another thing, too. If you were to leave one of these in your car and it actually gotten stolen, and if I had a GoPro versus one of these, I wouldn't be too upset that I've lost one of these if it was stolen out of my car versus a GoPro, which uh, they start at about $80 and could range only up to, I think uh, last I saw was about $450, uh, somewhere at that price point. All right, well, there you have it. Um, there's plenty of them out there. Um, I just happened to pick this one here off of eBay, but... Um, you can do your searches and see for yourself, uh, just for peace of mind and you know for um, for an event of an accident. I think these things could be a great tool. So this way, it's not uh, versus uh, your word versus another person. So, okay, this is Dan from South Hawk Computing with one of our very first product re reviews. If you liked it, you know, give that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hey, even leave a comment. Alright guys, this is Dan from South Hard Computing, until the next time.